Hello guys, welcome to this podcast. So today I will start unit 2 of class 11 biology that is structural organization in plants and animals and the first chapter is morphology of flowering plants. So in this first podcast we will start with the rule and another thing if you want the mp3 file of this podcast link is in the description and if you want this in text format that link is also in the description and all the social media and contact details are there also. So let's start. Chapter 5 morphology of flowering plants. The wide range of the structure of higher plants will never fail to fascinate us. Even though the angiosperms show such a large diversity in external structure or morphology, they are all characterized by presence of roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and fruits. In chapter 2 and 3, we talked about classification of plants based on morphological and other characteristics. For any successful attempt at classification and at understanding any higher plant, or for that matter any living organism, we need to know standard technical terms and standard definitions. We also need to know about the possible variations in different parts found as adaptation of plants to the environment that is adaptation to various habitats for protection, climbing, storage, etc. If you pull out any weed, you will see all of them have roots, stems and leaves. They may be bearing flowers and fruits. The underground part of the flowering plant is the root system while the portion above the ground forms the shoot system that is shown in figure 5.1. 5.1 The root In majority of dicotyledonous plants, the diet elongation of radical leads to the formation of primary root which grows inside the soil. It bears lateral roots of several orders that are referred to as secondary, tertiary, etc. roots. The primary root and its branches constitute the taproot system as seen in mustard plant that is shown in figure 5.2a. In monocotyledonous plant, the primary root is short-lived and is replaced by a large number of roots. These roots originate from the base of the stem and constitute the fibrous root system, as seen in wheat plant that is shown in figure 5.2b. In some plants like grass, monstera and the banyan tree, the roots arise from the part of the plant other than the radical and are called adventitious roots that is shown in figure 5.2c. The main functions of the root system are absorption of water and the mineral from the soil, providing a proper anchorage to the plant parts, storing reserve food material and synthesis of plant growth regulators. 5.1.1 Reasons of the root The root is covered at the apex by a timber-like structure called the root cap that is shown in figure 5.3. It protects the tender apex of the root as it makes its way through the soil. A few millimeters above the root cap is the region of meristematic activity. The cells of this region are very small, thin wall and with dense protoplasm. They divide rapidly. The cells proximal to this region undergo rapid elongation and enlargement and are responsible for the growth of the root in length. This region is called the region of elongation. The cells of the elongation zone gradually differentiate and mature. Hence, this zone proximal to region of elongation is called region of maturation. From this reason, some of the epidermal cells form a very fine and delicate thread-like structures called root hairs. These root hairs absorb water and minerals from the soil. 5.1.2 Modifications of Root Roots in some plants change their shape and structure and become modified to perform functions other than absorption and conduction of water and minerals. They are modified for support, storage of food and respiration. That is shown in figure 5.4 and figure 5.5. Tap roots of carrot turnip and adventitious root of sweet potato get swollen and storage food. Can you give some more such examples? Have you ever wondered what those hanging structures that support a banyan tree are? Similarly, the stems of maize and sugarcane have supporting roots coming out of the lower nodes of the stem. These are called steel roots. In some plants such as rhizophora growing in swampy areas, many roots come out of the ground and grow vertically upwards. Such roots called nematophores help to get oxygen for respiration. So that's it for today's podcast. In next podcast, we'll discuss 5.2, the stem.